Before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment Tommy down below for obvious reasons. That's gonna do two things for y'all. Number one, every single Friday, we give away a $50 in VC, Cash App, or we give away a copy of a video game of your choice. That's number one. Number two, and this is the more important one, if we can average 8K views and we back on that trend now, we're gonna be giving away, uh, at the end of the month, we'll be giving away a next-gen console, whether it be a PlayStation or Xbox, uh, we might give you a laptop if that's what you want, or five hundred dollars in cash out, man. Whatever you want, that's what you'll be getting if we just continue to average these eight K views, man. So make sure y'all like the videos and comment down below, cause that helps it get out to other people. It helps it get out to all of our subs, and so that everybody can see it. That's number two, and number three. More importantly, the bots are back. I keep blocking them, but I just want y'all to know that that is not me down in the comment section telling y'all to hit me up on this eight 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 phone number or some uh, Telegram or something like that. I don't got Telegram. The only thing you should ever be hitting me up on is instagram and twitter and that's it and uh um, you know and I, that's all i got man i ain't got y'all heard me told I, I deleted the black planet the other day so without further ado good morning out there in 2k land man first off we just gonna give give you know a little a little quick moment for that guy jason david frank man yeah a lot of people know him man you know we know miss tommy the uh the green ranger the white ranger and all the other iterations of him bro i ain't gonna lie to y'all let me know if y'all like i know we all watched power rangers back in the day and i'm, I'm the oldest of the old head but let me know something how many of y'all went crazy when tommy climbed into the in, into the megazord and just waxed the every ass in the in the whole building like every power ranger that was in in, in existing i think he even went to zeo he waxed every ass inside the megazord like they got why oh, we be safe inside the megazord this is how they was right here oh we gotta be safe inside the megazord hey tommy came through man tommy was like nah nah player you think you safe inside this megazord shut the f up shut the f up you ain't safe inside this megazord i'm coming in that and he just came up in there, I mean, just beat the brakes off. How you throw the Power Rangers out there on Megazord? I ain't gonna lie. At that point, he was healed, but I was like, he the coolest heel I've ever seen. And then, obviously, you know, they picked him up, gave him, you know, the Power Corn. He became the Green Ranger, but his power eventually ran out. Then everybody was sad when he left. And then, you know, obviously, he came back as the White Ranger with Saba, which was the coolest thing in the world. Everybody wanted a Saba from Has I think Hasbro did they joint toys, man. Everybody wanted that Saba. I couldn't get it. We was broke. Broke! We broke! We couldn't get it. So, you know, it is what it is. But I wanted that Saba, man. I couldn't get it. But, hey, it is what it is. Big shout out to the Green Ranger, man. They said he took himself off the count. And like I always say, I always empathize with anybody that go through that, man. Because what must someone be going through to feel like they got to take themselves off the count, man? I ain't got nothing against it. It's not my style. But it just, it just makes you be very sympathetic and empathetic to those people. It's like, you got everything, you rich, you famous, everybody love you. What must you be going through in order to, uh, you know, to, to, to feel like that's your only course of action? And um, it's just one of those things, it's unfortunate. But hey, we did a couple of shirts. He had one, we put him on his uh, feed and all that stuff, man. This shirt's for a friend of ours. They met him and they gave him the shirt and he, he liked it and it was cool. It was a Sorry Miss Reader joint, man. So, um, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, that ain't what we here to talk about there. We ain't here to say, we don't, we, don't, we don't revel in death. We celebrate life on this joint. And like I said, man, if you didn't go crazy when you seen Tommy get inside that Megazord, man, I, I was like, I thought, I was hoping he was gonna become a good guy the whole time anyway, but you know, uh, and then he did, so it, it was what it was. But hey, like I said, that's that's where we at with it. But anyway, speaking of speaking of stuff, man, that boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Mother Barber Shop. Hey, look, this is what he's saying, bro. I don't understand why you have to have one million percent momentum and chase down still won't work. Conversely, limitless takeoff can be triggered from a dead stop. Simply boggles the mind. And a lot of people, uh, you know, a lot of people, they weighed in on like on, on that joint, man. Oh um, my God, Durag Dev, Durag Dev, he said, I haven't even equipped it yet because of all, I mean, of all the things I've been hearing. It does help, I'm gonna tell you what it does help with, but it really doesn't help with, with the whole lot. He said, I thought it was just me. It seems like the interior defense is non-existent all the way, unless, you are a defensive big. And then, uh, you know, my guy, my guy video game <laughs> takes, he says, bro, they just be walking up and out of nowhere and MJ dump. And that's exactly how it happens, man. Like it's crazy. And then last but not least, my guy Six Sauce, he says, the badge is so inconsistent. And this is one of the things that I wanted to highlight today, man, because it's just, it's insane that in, in 2K, the game is so heavily slanted toward the offense. 
that it is unreal. And I'm not gonna get, I don't, like I said, we do get stops and we do get all the stuff, man. Like things do happen and, and we, we get where we need to go. We don't lose a whole lot of games, all that good stuff. We work as a team, we play good team defense. And if y'all watch my team defensive videos, y'all will be up on game. But it's just insane to me. Why on earth is offense Offense gets the chance to make so many mistakes. Like, they can pass the ball, and you can be right there, but needle thread are going to let it go by you, and you'll get stunned off needle thread or something like that. They can shoot the ball right in your face. They can do so many things, but defense has to do everything perfectly, and you still might not get the stop. It's one of those things I think we got to talk about, and uh, but nobody really cares about because in 2K, this is what it is. Nobody cares because... Nobody cares about defense. The only thing we care about is offense. And some of the stuff that I'm talking about is you can, like I said, from a dead stop, you can be, why is it, has it been in the 2K community in the last couple of years when I'm out of adrenaline or when I'm out of, out of boost or when I'm out of, um, what do they call it, uh, uh, stamina? Why is dunking the thing that you elect to do? But why does the game allow you to dunk the basketball when you out of stamina? I don't get it. Like when, when you get tired in real life, what you gonna do? You gonna take some jump shots or you gonna do something like that? The last thing you're thinking about is driving to the rim. And you're certainly not thinking about driving to the rim and jumping from the free throw line from limitless takeoff. Like I said, limitless takeoff is one of those things that's cool, but, and I think it's got a place in the game. It's, I'm okay with it. They, they, I think they need to dumb it down a little bit. You shouldn't be taking off from the free throw line every single time or something like that. But hey, you know, when you combine it with quick drops, and all of that, like it, it just, it's just gonna be one of those things that is what it is. But like I said, when on offense, it seems like you can do so much wrong. You see a, you see a, a random come in, he catches the ball, he's decelerating, right? He's coming to a stop. And then, boom, he just take off, limitless take off, just, uh, just on the rim, just, just right in his face. It's like, I, I just, I just don't understand why that is. Because on, on chase down artists, it don't work. You can have full momentum, run right up the dude's back. Nothing's gonna happen. Now, one thing that does happen with chase down artists is this. One thing that I do think chase down artists is good for, if you put chase down artists with anchor and, um, and uh, you know, yeah, just chase down artists with anchor, you can make them miss a lot of shots or just miss a lot of dunks, but you're still not gonna get the dunk. It's like the chase down artist will help you catch up. And then once you catch up, the anchor is what's gonna make them miss. But to me, that's just insane. And, and to further to my point, if we got my guy, Brother Jones, man. Brother Jones, um, uh, he, he dropped this one right here. Oh, last one we wanted to talk about was a Bam Bam, uh, the art plug. He says, chase down is useless. I can count on one hand how many chase down blocks I've seen this year. Can't get mad at that, man. But one of the things that I wanted to show y'all is why I'm saying this is this. Check this out. The boy Brother Jones, he made a video yesterday and he said he got a guy with five, with uh, he 5'4", 99 block, 99 interior. Completely getting abused by Joel Embiid, as he should. This is what should be happening. I got no problem with this. 99 block, 99 interior, that shouldn't matter. You're still a baby. We don't got no problem with that. It don't matter what badges you have on. It does not matter what um what height or what heights. Well, not height, which you it shouldn't matter what height you are. It doesn't matter what badges you got on. It doesn't matter what attributes are. It does not, none of that stuff matters. And as we say at Gambit gets chased down. No, none of that stuff matters. It should not matter. You should not be able to stop these bigger guys in the post or anything like that because you're five four. And that's something that I noticed when I was doing my black um my Riri Williams Black Panther video. But something else I noticed when I was doing my Riri Williams Black Panther the video was this it did not matter what happened Riri could get on the rim versus other people it's like like you're gonna just look at this little montage right here she's just going in there it doesn't matter those guys are taller than her that's Jokic right there that's the joker she's gonna go up on him going right up on stuff in traffic and all of that and can score and because she got the badges I mean shoot the ball right in people's face none of that stuff matters and and then what we get right here I'm gonna go down here and I think I'm gonna score on like five people, the whole team, right? The Euro step, score on everybody, right? And then I said in the video, I'm like, yo, I don't wanna just do this. Look, Kevin Durant, all these guys, 6'11", 6 6 And I said, I don't wanna do that. I wanna punch on somebody. And look, the very next play, we come down Broadway and contact Dunk Luca. So the thing is, it's just like, it's, it's a one-way street. It's not a two-way street, if y'all understand what I'm trying to say. The two, it should be a two-way street instead of a one-way street. On defense, you gotta have every Thing exactly right person can dribble into you it doesn't matter they'll slide off a person can can run right into you or, or shoot the ball right in your face they might get bailed out by a badge 
they, they come into they come into a stop they can just press x and then or press x or square and they'll just take off and do limitless uh, limitless take off and dump the basketball doesn't matter their size doesn't matter anything the only thing that matters on offense is attributes and badges they don't take height weight or anything else into account height weight positioning any of that but on defense if you're not in the correct position if you ain't got the right height and weight or any of that stuff you're not getting the stop and you might have all of those things and you're still gonna get dunked on it doesn't matter so i just don't understand like like i said the point that i'm trying to make here is why is it that on offense the only thing that matters is ratings and badges but on defense everything matters like i don't i don't i, I definitely don't agree with the five four person or somebody smaller stopping a big in the paint that shouldn't happen at the same time, big shouldn't be stopping people on the perimeter either. That should be fair. But at this, but you got to take a better shot. You got to do something about like, like that. But at the same time, we should never see like the five eight, the five eight meta last year should have never even been a thing. They shouldn't have been able to complete dunks at a high rate because they shouldn't have been able to get ninety nine dunking or ninety six or whatever they could get a high enough dunk to be able to complete it at a high rate. But even if they do, if somebody's down at six eleven, why why can he score on somebody that's got high interior? But you can't, but, but, but I can, I can't score on some, I can score on somebody that's got high interior, but he's not the right height and weight, but I can finish on somebody that is the right height and weight with all the badges and they don't have, I mean, you know what I'm saying? And they got good positioning. You still just come straight down Broadway and dunk on. It's just one of those things. Like I said, this is why the game right now feels so unbalanced. That's why people say rim running is out of control. That's why people just don't like a lot of the stuff. Like I said, this stuff still can be stopped with team defense and it can be stopped if you just play the game the right way. But it just puts so much pressure on the defense that somebody can just put some attributes on a guy and a couple of badges and still make bad decisions. And they're scoring on you when you're doing everything right on defense and you still may not get to stop. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying, man. Look, I do understand that that stuff has to be in the game because because the game has to be offensively friendly. We do need a game that's offensively friendly so that people can get to the rim, have fun, and do stuff like that. But why does it have to be offensively friendly at the extent, at the total expense of defense? Like I said, I will reiterate, I don't think that a person should be able to, sc to score on a, I think if you're 5'8", and you're trying to defend somebody that's 6'9", 6'10", they should kill you in the paint. That should happen every time. Conversely, if you're 5'8", on the perimeter, you should kill that 6'9", on the perimeter probably by going by him and getting to the rim but when that six nine is down there and he's squarely in the paint you should you got no business even six ones you got no business six four six five you don't have any business finishing on that guy at a high rate yes you should be able to finish on him if he's in out of position he's doing something wrong that's cool but at a high rate when he they got perfect positioning and you get a good animation and then one of those animations triggers and we call them you know those 100 percent animations that trigger when it's like hey you're going up and he's doing the he, he didn't call for a euro but he does the euro and the ball still goes in and stuff like that or the one where he just gets in your chest like that and throws it up and you know that's 100 percent it's just too many things to bail out the offensive player now like i said even with the steals and all of that you got to be in the right spot right position on the right right ball hand in most cases unless their ratings are very low but why is it that like i said i mean you just got to do too much right on defense and even when you do the right things on defense you're still not rewarded that's all it's a little bit frustrating and i'm hoping that maybe in the future we can look at that 2k or something like that but or maybe there can be something they can look at now like it's already in the game for the for the uh for the bigger players you know what i'm saying for for offense it's already there for offense so let's just make this stuff matter a little bit on defense because at the same time like even you can see even even in that joint a bully she was able to at 5'4 145 she was able to bully somebody that was literally twice her size almost twice her weight they uh, got a bully animation so it's, it's crazy that the badges and all that stuff overcome everything defensively and you already don't have that many defensive badges but hey what do I know, man? I'm just I'm just a bad content creator that's trash at the game. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Do y'all agree? Do y'all not agree? Comment, tell me down below, and I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Channel. Guys,